Now, I've kind of taken this in some order of the, the uh, fouling, and um, the uh, parallel corrugated plate is probably the least fouling of the bunch. The um, plate system, where it's kind of irregular shaped and they build up a pack system, like we've uh, showed you, this one fouls uh, uh, that much more than the other one. And the next most fouling, the one that fouls uh, more than that, would be uh, uh, what they call a VTC coalescer. It's a vertical tube coalescer. If you can see here, there are actually tubes here. The tubes are heat sealed together into a pack. And the actual tube is a series of uh, polypropylene uh, monofilament fibers made up to make a diamond mesh pattern. Now, the theory here is a little different. The theory now isn't Stokes' law and rise rates of oil for removal. The theory here is that as oils and waters drift through, oil is going to attach to the little fibers of polypropylene. And as hundreds and hundreds of droplets of oil attach here, they will coalesce into a larger droplet and work their way up the pack and out. And solids are to drift through this and fall out. Probably the issue is that in a clean, no solids environment, the pack system is very efficient, just like some of these other packs. The problem with solids, as the um, wastewater drifts through, the oils collect on the fingers, and the solids come in contact, they create a sludge, and these uh, foul up very readily. Um, what we see also is very, very difficult to clean this. When you steam jet this, the water comes in and works in only so far into the coalescer. So if you have a, a one foot by one foot coalescer, um, we might only get in to 40, 50, maybe up to 60% of the pack, meaning the centers of these packs never get clean. And that creates a problem for putting it back in and then having to clean it and the, the frequency of maintenance becomes very high on this kind of pack.